<laughs> oh, hi crafters. I just got back from the evil scumbag Minecraft YouTubers convention. Okay, well, I actually got kicked out of the evil scumbag Minecraft YouTubers convention because I'm too much of an evil scumbag. Go figure. So I have showed you how to make those rank icons. I have showed you how to convert them over to bedrock. But one thing that I haven't showed you how to do yet is use them properly. And I'm sick and tired of seeing people do this because it's so utterly wrong. So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use rank icons properly. But before we can begin, you are going to need a couple things. First of all, you're going to need to know how to make and or implement these tags into the game. I've already showed you how in my items editorial, so make sure you go watch that. But if you're cheap like me and you don't want to pay $20 for the items adder plugin, then don't worry because I also have an alternative method that I'm going to be showing that is completely free and it is also compatible with geyser mc and bedrock you will also need a permissions plugin and a chat formatting plugin so i recommend luck perms and lpc which is short for luck perms chat if the luck perms devs are watching this video then feel free to use this on your website i really need to make shorter intros those youtube growth guys they're probably peeing their pants watching this video right now so to add these rank icons to chat there are two different methods that i will be discussing in this video so one of these methods requires placeholder Folder API and the other method doesn't. So if you're not using items editor, then you're going to have to use the method that is a little bit more complex and doesn't require placeholder API. But even if you are using items editor, there are times where you may want to use the more complex method and we will get into all of that later. And before we begin, don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise this video won't work. Is this joke getting overused? Totally, but remember, I am a scumbag YouTuber, so that's just what I do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is the first method, which requires placeholder API and the items adder plugin. So what we can do is go ahead and type PL in console. We can see we have items adder and we have what's re re required for it. We also have placeholder API and you'll also need your luck perms and LPC. So the first thing that we'll need to do is actually figure out which rank tag we want to use so we can go to our file manager into our plugins folder into our items adder folder into our contents into the better ranks this is basically a free add-on that adds a whole bunch of different ranks i recommend using it it's pretty good you can just base it off of there change them however you'd like or you can use my free rank pre-made one that i made a while back it's a template i realized that i didn't explain how to install better rank so all you have to do is go to the better rank spigot page and you'll just want to download the zip file and then you'll upload that straight into your items adder config and you'll just want to unarchive that don't upload it inside of the contents folder because it will go straight into the contents folder and then you'll just have to i reload and i zip and however you have your hosting method set up so what we can do is go ahead we'll use mod so just remember mod so we can go and type lp editor oh and by the way i'm starting out with nothing so like i just plain old white for now so we can just click on this link and then what we'll want to do is we'll go ahead and create a new group so we'll call this mod we'll set the weight to 10 this is basically used for organizing all your different groups so i always like to increment these by 10 that way you can add more groups or change stuff later if you want and then we can edit the prefix here and the suffix here i'm not going to worry about this now i'm just i prefer to do it this way so We'll just want to type prefix dot and then await so 10 because 10 and 10 you know it makes sense and then we will put a dot and now we want to put in percentage img underscore mod and percentage sign and then we'll want we'll just put, press enter and then add so we can't type spaces in there and I want to type space. So otherwise it's going to make like multiple permissions every time you put a space in the editor. So then what we want to do is put an and R right before this. That way it clears any lingering color codes and we can also put an and R right after it. And then we'll put a space and we'll put an and hashtag and then a color code. So we'll do 00FF00. That's going to be nice bright green. Click enter. And now we'll just click on apply. There we go. So now we can head back in game and I have the mod group. So if I didn't, it would be LP user crafted Croy parent add mod. There we go. 
So as you can see, we have the mod tag. And if we were to type in chat, we also have it. So I'll show you the con config for that quickly. So you go to files, plugins, LPC, config. This is just the default one. It works perfectly fine. You can change it up if you want. So instead of having like and R right here, we can make and eight and then and seven for the message. And if you watch my Supreme Tags video from last week, you could put per under or percentage sign Supreme Tags underscore tag. There we go. And then click save LPC reload. Hi, I don't have a tag right now. So if I were to, there we go. And so then that's basically all you have to do. However, sometimes you may run into an issue where it's not going to display in some plugins. So an alternative method is to use glyphs, which are basically like those little boxes. That's how Minecraft interprets the font images. So to get the glyph for your texture, like the mod, what we can do is type slash E. E and then space and then like a colon mod for mod and then this so whatever it appears as in your config there we go and then if we head into our console we can see that there's this little guy right here so you'll just want to copy this if you're on a phone or something this might look like an emoji just of that's just how the way that like glyphs are made because they're used for other things other than minecraft so the more you know and we'll want to go back to here you might have to make a new editor and instead of image mod, we can just go right here, get rid of that, paste in these two boxes, click enter, click apply. There we go. And we head back in game and it's still working perfectly. So now that you've seen how to do it with items editor, I'm going to show you the ghetto cheap boy way of adding these rank icons to your server. So this is called nautical ranks. What we can do is you can see all these different icons. You can change them or make your own if you want. Like, I don't know how to though. So I'm just going to show you how to add these ones. So now to get these icons to work on your server for nautical ranks, you'll just want to go down here to the Java pack download and we can click on this resource pack link. You'll want to head over to your server.properties and we can just replace this. And then we'll want to go back to the other line. So for the S H A one copy that and then find that and replace it. Click control S to save and restart the server. All right, there we go. So I had to disable items adder for this. So we can just go on to Minecraft and join the server. And then it'll ask you if you want the resource packs so you can just click on yes. And then that'll download nautical ranks to us. So now if we look like this, don't worry about the server logo not working that's because we got rid of items adder and those two little boxes those are because items adder is also disabled so it's not going to display those so what we can do is we have an option of all these different symbols so we can just choose whichever one we want i'm going to use youtube because i'm a scumbag youtuber and we'll just want to go ahead and type lp editor again this one is old so we can just go ahead and click on that and go to mod and we'll just want to change this out to the new one press enter click apply and there we go we have a youtube tag now works in chat works pretty much everywhere as long as you have the resource packs enabled though and bedrock players would also be able to see that well thank you crafters for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it you're still watching, so that must mean you still enjoy it. But if you need help with anything in this video and like something didn't work or something, then feel free to pop into my Discord server and create a post on the forum channel, and I will try to respond to you as soon as I can. And also, by the time this video comes out, I will be walking across the stage at high school graduation. Now, I don't want to get all emotional and mushy, but it is really crazy to think how far this channel has come over the past couple years. I just want to say a big thank you to everybody that has watched these videos, left a like, left a comment, whatever it might be. Thank you so much for supporting me through whatever the heck I'm doing right now, but thank you so much. Okay, enough being genuine, back to being a scumbag. So I did just release a new merch store, so you can go get yourself a nice crafted Croy shirt if you'd like.
Well, actually, you have to. Go buy my merch. Right now, buy my merch! You can also join both of my Minecraft servers. This one, we have a Civilizations event coming because everybody's been asking for it. So definitely check that out this summer. And this server is also cracked. So feel free to join that as well. All right, I am going to go sit in the corner and question my life. So until next time, I will see you on the other side. And as always, happy crafting. Mwahahaha, I am the most evil scumbag Minecraft YouTuber ever. Mwahahahaha, <laughs> <laughs>